friends welcome to my channel once again and in today's video we will be learning how to uninstall Apple iTunes software from your computer completely the process is very simple but it gets complicated when you try to uninstall it normally and you get an error message so I'll show you what I'm talking about so let it be any windows Windows 7, Windows 8, 8.1 or Windows 10. The process will remain same for all version of Windows. I am working on Windows 7 so we will go to control panel and we will click on programs and features to go to uninstall or change program or if you are using any other Windows you can simply press and hold windows key on the keyboard and push letter R and a run box will open up you need to simply type appwiz.cpl and click OK even that will take you to the same option that is uninstall or change program and it works in all windows now when we try to uninstall iTunes by simply clicking it and clicking uninstall from uninstall or change program we are getting this error message in your case it may be any error message that really does not matter but in my case I'm getting this particular error message so I'm not able to remove it now how that is possible to remove it because if I will try to reinstall iTunes from iTunes to make it work it is not going to work because my computer already has iTunes which somehow got corrupted or there is some problem so in order to make it work I need to first remove it completely and then if I want to reinstall it I will have to reinstall a fresh copy of it from Apple's website so in order to remove this we will have to download a third party software and that is called iobit uninstaller so we will simply search in google iobit uninstaller pro and press enter we can click on the first link and you don't worry i will be the, i will be leaving the link in the description box so you can easily download the iobit uninstaller we will be downloading the free version because that will be sufficient to remove the program which we are trying to remove and this software can help you to remove any program I'm not specifically talking about iTunes let it be any program which you are not able to remove from uninstall or change program or you are getting any error message when you are trying to do that so this program will help you to remove any program so I have clicked on download to download the software so you just need to wait for a few minutes okay the download has been started the reason it says number one in bracket because I have already downloaded a a copy of it so we click on that arrow and we click open click run you may get a prompt to allow you can simply click yes to allow it I'll close all these windows now okay our installation is ready we, we, uh, we can click on install now just pay attention to the next screen when you download any free software like this while you install you may offer you may get some offer from some other programs of uh, same manufacturer or different manufacturer so if you you'll pay attention you will be only downloading or and installing the program which you want but if you don't pay attention and you simply keep clicking on yes on everything you may end up installing some more programs either from same manufacturer 
or different software manufacturer. So here we are being offered advanced system care which is also an iobit software and they say it is recommended from them but we don't want to download them so we'll say no thanks on that screen. You may or may not get such message but just pay attention and now I'll click next. So our software is being installed now. Great, you don't need to subscribe so you can say no thanks here and click finish. Okay, so our software got installed successfully. Now we can choose from the list what we want to uninstall. If you don't see that particular program here, you can even search for that program at the top. So I'll type iTunes we got the application which we want to uninstall simply put the check in the checkbox and click on uninstall at the top or you can even click on delete it we'll click on uninstall at the top now there are two options you may or may need to check create a system restore before uninstalling this application so what will happen it will create a system restore suppose something goes wrong uh, or your computer crashes or something happens while you are uninstalling the iTunes or any software from from your computer if you have this option checked you can restore your computer back to this particular point to make your computer work again I will not be doing that but and automatically remove residual files that option is good to check so it will clean each single file from your computer of iTunes so I will click on uninstall and we'll have to wait for some time we may get a prompt to uninstall we will click on yes and while it is happening just be patient and everything will be done properly okay so we have successfully removed iTunes now after uninstalling iTunes we will uninstall iTunes updates same way go to uninstall or change program see if you are able to remove Apple software update software normally if no then if you still have that software uh, installed on your computer that is called iobit uninstaller you will get the option to either normally uninstall it from the top or you can say powerful uninstall so we'll click on powerful uninstall the reason I'm doing that so this is another way to remove uh, any software directly from uninstall or change program I mean you get both the options in uninstall or change program so see it uh, has opened that software Apple software update we'll click uninstall and same way we get the prompt uh, I mean if you want you can create a restore point before taking any action like this but I won't do that I will click on uninstall yeah I will leave automatically remove residual files check because it will remove all the files of uh, Apple software Great, so even Apple software update has been uninstalled. Now you can find if there are other Apple application in your computer so you can even remove them. Now Apple software update still shows there but if I 
click on install on it we'll get the message uh, that, that, that means it has already been gone from the computer now there are three more Apple application software uh, on my computer so same way we can reinstall them also by clicking powerful uninstall click yes if you are being prompt to allow something same way click uninstall okay when that is gone now same way click on remaining two application from Apple click yes if you get a prompt Okay, this one took a while, but uh, finally, even this will get deleted. We'll click OK. Now, finally, we have one more remaining, and we'll be deleting the last one now. So, while you are doing this, just be patient. It may take some time, but it will surely get uninstalled. Great, so whatever file was there related to that Apple iTunes software will be gone after just deleting all these things from your computer. we'll simply click OK and that's it our program is already gone from our computer if you want to download and reinstall iTunes you can go to Apple's website or you can watch my previous video which I have created uh, for iTunes installation how you can install iTunes on any Windows computer like it would be Windows 7 Windows 8 8.1 or Windows 10 well that's it in this video keep watching and click the like button if you like the video thank you very much and you have a great day bye bye But it's like I was too weak to be someone else